If you're agreeable, we'll take in the outlying parts of the estate first. Take advantage of the cool of the day. I'm in your hand. Mr. Hawkins, I owe you an apology. Oh. You see, I trusted both my men, Sharp and Gaines, implicitly. I've examined the books. I have to agree with you. They've been systematically robbing the estate, pillaging it more like. Yes. And naturally, I shall resign my position. Now, if you like. On the other hand, my evidence is not complete. Until it is, perhaps it is my duty to remain in my post. I'd never take action until my evidence was complete. Why was this man flogged? Why indeed, Gaines? And more to the point, why wasn't my permission sought? Come and help him! He was out after lockup. Barker and Fitch will bear me out. Lift him up. Uh, Over there by the cart. Uh, and put him down gently. Out after dark, eh? It's a flogging offence. He was assisting me. He had my permission. Oh? Huh? He didn't say anything about that. Did you give him a chance to speak? I did, but he wouldn't say anything. Then he attacked me like a wild beast. You say that he was assisting you. May I ask, in what? I saved his life when we were attacked on the Kingston Road. He was returning the favour. Yours, unless I'm very much mistaken. Mr. Hawkins. He needs assistance! Of course. Rig up a litter! Mr. Hawkins. Well! Get back to work, you scum! All of you! No! Put your back into it! What do you think this is? The buckle, I presume, connects Gaines with the attempt on your life. Directly. Well, certainly he will be dismissed forthwith. Quickly! And I imagine that you intend to lay a charge against him? Eventually. Move. But as I said before, I don't believe in taking action until my evidence is complete.
Caleb! in flagrante delicto. The, the what, sir? And no doubt Hawkins' adulpated loon of a manservant will carry the tale to him. He crept up on me, sir. Creeping and eavesdropping is your business. All you're fit for, it seems. If you ask me, sir, he keeps that map next to his skin, in his money belt. You better pray so, Sharp. We'll have it tonight, sir. We'll have it tonight. Shh! Get out of my way, you whining rat. Hey there. This ain't no place for you, Masaji. I'm afraid I've come to beg another favor. I want you to hide something for me. Can't be no friend to you, Master Jim. Gaines is gone. Everything's going to change. You're a good man, Master Jim. But you're a fool. Nothing ain't going to change. Nothing. Yes, it is, Abed. Yeah? What you going to do? You going to free all of Master Trelawney, slave? I have the power. Yes. Then what you gonna do? You gonna free every black man in Jamaica, and Antigua, and Barbados, and Trinidad? You gonna sink every slave ship? You gonna stop the sun from rise, Master Jim? You gonna be fighting your own kind, Master Jim, and they gonna kill you? And what are you going to do, Abed? Are you gonna? Waste your life in blind hatred. Hey, Bed, listen. Listen. There was a time when Englishmen were slaves. Millions of them. Englishmen. My own forebears were slaves. Serfs, they were called. What did you push at you? They fight. Yes. Yes, they fight. And some of them are still fighting. Not for themselves, but for you. And they're going to win, Abed. They always do. I've got money, Silver. That's you, Caleb. Forever handy with your proposition. Well, killing me don't profit you none. Who's talking to killing? What then? Well, now. Here's what will scupper hallows and his crew. <laughs> Maybe. But that's a sharp man, hallows. Aye, I seen his shape afore, tongue like an eel. But if you was to stand witness against him. Turn King's evidence. I ain't saying it's pretty, but seeing as how you're placed, I reckon it's the best bargain you could make.
you see that? Don't waste your anger on me. You saved it for tonight. Tonight? Is that for sure? Mm. Well, it's about time. A little patience gains, and I give you my full permission to vent your spleen. <laughs> Stay with the horses. Jim! And keep your eyes and ears open. Jim, mate! One page from that book will hang Hallows twice over. But what you require, I reckon, is to make a sure thing certain. And Cayley Beer is ready and willing to sing like a bird. Ain't that right, Caleb? I never agree to nothing. Sing or swing, Caleb. Sing, and I'll undertake you'll find Squire Trelawney a free man with reward. Stay mum. And the court will learn the name that you was baptized with. Aye. And not forgetting, there's a rope awaiting for Caleb Powell. Well, Mr. Lewis. I'll find you sober. And I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. The finding. That'll be the last thing, Caleb. Well, Jim, the map. It's safe. You've learned caution. Yes. In a hard school. Then what's your proposition, Jim? I'll hide you at the plantation for as long as it takes to settle with Hallows and appoint new men. Then I'll fit out a ship and we'll sail together to Treasure Island. Well... <laughs> well that's acceptable, I reckon. <laughs> Don't that beat all? <laughs> Long John Silver bluffed and bubbled by a boy, still wet behind the ears. <laughs> that's right, mate. You spoil Mr. Hawkins' witness for him. Then you take his word. And let him lead you up to execution, Doc. I'd take his word. If it led me into hell itself, ye must be gotten, Doc. John. John! Come, Mr. Lewis. We have an engagement with the Governor. you in the king's name.
You've yet to explain why you were watching the warehouse, Williams. I have always had my suspicions of Caleb Lewis, sir. I know an old buccaneer when I see one. Oh, do you indeed? My supposition is that Silver had a hold over Lewis. Lewis, no doubt, told Hawkins here where he could see his friend. Well, Mr. Hawkins? The captain's suppositions do not amount to evidence. So you persist in denying that you had a Tristanite with Silver? Well, that's for you to prove. Oh, very glib, sir. And where's your proof for your wild accusations against Mr. Hallows and his people? In front of you. This? Read it. If Hallows is implicated, you may be sure he'll be brought to book. Nonetheless, your own position remains somewhat delicate. Come now. You went to meet Silver tonight. Why deny it? I repeat, there is not a shred of evidence. I assume your search of the building revealed Silver's hiding place? I... You mean to tell me there's been no search? Uh, in the confusion, sir. Confusion be damned! Duty, Williams, duty! But who's standing like a cretin? Do it now, you blockhead! Now! Yes, sir, of course, sir. the bumpkin with me, boy. The map. Where have you hidden it? Well? Forgive me, but His Majesty's Governor inquiring about a pirate's treasure map. It's rather surprising. Life is full of surprises. That's what makes it worth living. Sworn testimony from Mr. Hallow's clerk, one Saul Sharp, that you were seen in the company of John Silver. On this evidence, I can hold you in custody indefinitely. On the other hand, if you tell me where you've hidden the map... And withdraw your absurd allegations against me. Then the affair can be closed without further inconvenience to you. Hmm? Treasure. The great leveller. It turns a governor into a, a common criminal. If the circumstances were otherwise, I'd prescribe the wreck. However, a diet of plain water is a great loosener of tongues. Eventually. God! Take him away. I'd go for the rack. And to the devil. With the circumstances. We'll see. Oh, 
Watch out! Got away. And one of my men killed. I see. Well, sir. Excellent. Hawkins has put himself beyond the law. A murderer. <laughs> he could be hunted down. Killed. <laughs> You bide your time, Benjamin Gunn. Hugh and cry. Ben Gunn's been shot. We need your help. Well, bless my soul. Yes, can you give us shelter? Hey, well, of course. Thank you. Jim, I must fetch Ben. You wait. Yeah. Van der Brecken. That's it. Van der Brecken will know what to do for the best. Oh, will you go to him? Uh, yeah, directly. Directly. I know there was something ruined. Come on. <laughs> First, you have Caleb Lewis in your pocket. Only word. Now, it's the governor. <laughs> Precisely. He wants that map. Map? and a share of Flint's diamonds. Diamonds? And rubies and sapphires. A hoard of precious stones worth three, four times what Trelawney took. Plenty for all girls. So no funny wits, man. When Hawkins rode into town last night, did he stop even for a moment? And he were watched every yard of the way. And was later thoroughly searched. Then it's at the plantation. Hidden. Hidden, perhaps. But possibly in the safekeeping of a friend. Home, I think. So the vanished Hawkins at large, you're a bungler, Williams. I want every building in Kingston searched, every last hut and hovel. Do you think that's within your capabilities, Captain, or should I detail a corporal? With respect, Lord Charles, I'm neither obliged to, nor shall I endure personal abuse. If you are dissatisfied with my conduct, your business is to lay an official complaint before the military board. <laughs> I'm indebted to you for your advice, Captain. May I offer you some in return? 
If Hawkins isn't taken by sundown, my business will be with a court martial. Have you any further orders, sir? Do you hear me, Williams? A court martial! That's the matter for you, sir. With your permission. Clean it up and you'll be as right as pie. Oh, but it pains something powerful, Reverend. Oh, well, it would. Where the devil is Van der Breck? Spying out the land, he said. Be a case for a tot of rum, I reckon, Reverend. By way of medicine, like. Hmm. Hmm. You're right at that. Mm. Smarter than apothecary, that's you, Reverend. And so says Ben Gunn. Smattering of medical knowledge no more. <laughs> My brother now, he's a surgeon in Brecon <laughs> and a first class man in his profession. Studied under Munro of Edinburgh. He's here. Thank God. Everywhere soldiers. Every house they search. Be gone. You'll do no such thing. I tell you, everywhere soldiers and eyes looking, tongues whispering. First, we have to make a plan. Well, there's no time. Silver's after that map. Map, map, map. The whole town hunts for you, and you worry about a map. No, not the map. The person is keeping it safe for me. Was it? Jones, come to the house. Door in splinters. Oh. Captain Williams, it is. Good day to you, Reverend. Some poor soul in the last extremity, is it? I'll fetch my hat and coat. I have orders to search every house. Bless my soul, whatever for. May I enter? What? Oh, to be sure. Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be some felon now you're seeking out? An acquaintance of yours, I believe. Jim Hawkins. Wanted for murder. Murder? Jim? Impossible. Curtains drawn in broad daylight, Reverend. <sighs> hey, dear, 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 dear. <laughs> there now. I'll be forgetting the Lord's Prayer next. Have you seen Hawkins in the last 12 hours, Reverend? I go now. Have you seen him, Mr. Vanderbrecken? No. But he is a friend of yours, is he not? Yes. And I do not have murderers as my friends. See you at the key, Reverend. Yes, yes. Sailing, Mr. Vanderbrecken? Was it tight? That's not for five hours yet. You appear to be in a hurry suddenly. I have business. Urgent business, it seems. Yeah. You have not drunk your coffee. It's piping hot. I think you should finish it. Pity to waste. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse me, Reverend. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Warrant 
to search every vessel. English, you're but not Dutch. You're not above the law, Van der Brecken. Be thankful you're not under arrest for deliberately misleading an officer of the Crown. Hey, you want to earn a shilling? Start loathing the boat. Jones, you bide here until I send. And don't you take your eyes off that Dutchman or his boat. Not for a moment. Sir. Gray, with me. We're going to search. The whole of Kingston if we have to. Now, don't tell me. I never forget a face, no, nor a name. Jones! Samuel Jones, that's it. Reverend Morgan! Samuel Jones, you are a misbegotten sinner! A sinner, I say, Samuel Jones! Small wonder I couldn't recall your face. I haven't seen it in church these two, three years. But, Reverend Morgan... Have you a mother, Samuel Jones? Sure you have. And a God-fearing, pious woman, I'll be bound. But shame on you, George, for the heathen that you are. But, Reverend Morgan, I, I, my duty Duty, is... duty. For the first duty of a Christian is bringing the church to tend of Samuel George. Get down below. Let go forward. Let go aft. Quick. Reverend Morgan, I must know what your business is. <laughs> There's no secret in it. I bring stores to my friend Van der Brecken. <laughs> mm. Young, what do you fancy you're doing? Samuel Jones, I believe the devil has claimed you. You will attend church on Sunday or you'll answer for it. Sharp! I want every overseer on the lookout. I skin for Hawkins. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill? Do what you're told, man. Gaines. is free. Look at the sea, my friend, at the waves, the sky. You're a clever young man, Jim, but also you're a fool. You chase gold. And you? You're a man of affairs, aren't you? Affairs. A forest in Mexico. You chase rare woods, others chase gold. Every man seeks wealth in his own way. And they are blind. This is the wealth of the new world, my good friend. Freedom. They look at it, but they don't see it. Is it so very different from the old? I haven't found it so. Jamaica has one island. But there are thousands, ten thousand islands. Great forests, empty, virgin. Mountains no man has ever climbed. And always the sea. I come from a little country where a man trips over his neighbor's boots. I cannot breathe in a place like that. Silver. Oh. 
I truly would advise you to speak. Overseer Gaines is not noted for his patience. Evidently not. No more have I. It'll be a novel experience. The map! Again. Right. Wait here. Come now. A third chair? We're both reasonable men. Yes, I'm reasonable. I let you live. So I ask myself, where Matter Hollow's never gonna look? Why, in him own room, of course. Look on the table. Go on, Master Jim. Steady, Jim. I ain't bluffing. Who knows that, I reckon. Lay down your firearm. Now then, I'll trouble you for that map. We had an agreement, a partnership. Dissolve, matey, by common consent of all parties, as you might say. <laughs> now then, I'll tell you what he'll do. You'll step up, slow and sober-like, and you'll put that map in the right-hand pocket of my coat, and then you'll step back, and then I'll tell you some more. That's... Far enough. You will oblige me by dropping your knife. Down there! Still with me! 
them. All of them. You hear me? Botch this, Williams. And I'll break you. Get back to work, you dog. Oh. Soldiers, ahead by the beach. Do you see? I'll throw them off. You and I will launch the boat, sail around to Lugger Point. I'll meet you there. Master Jim. Your eyes peeled, Amen. You'll soon be there. The troopers, Captain. No arrest. And I thought you at least were an honest man. So I am, Mr. Hawkins. And I detect the same quality in you. I want the truth. Did you kill Caleb Lewis? Gaines killed him. To silence him. But you did have an assignation with Silver that night. Silver was to provide the evidence against Hallows and his henchmen. And it's for this that Hallows desires your capture so urgently. Hallows and his partner. Yes? The governor. Will you swear to that in court? To what purpose? To expose that arrogant puppy for the common criminal he is. The word of an accused murderer against Lord Charles Devereux. I must clear my own name before I can blacken his. And to do that, I must return to England. Lay the facts before the Secretary of State. Very well. But I'll keep this. As a surety against your return. Do so by all means. But I warn you. Possession of that map. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
on, let's get the map. I'll take that map now, if you please. Hello, <laughs> those cottages. Ha ha ha! 